to Lara Station. Mom. Welcome to sunset number five, where we spent a beautiful day at Coral Bay and then slept at Pulara Station. We kicked off the morning. Oh, we actually got time to exercise a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Yay! But nonetheless, that's a good start. And the kids were riding their bikes because we slept over at... And running. We stepped over at the roadhouse, so they were running, riding their bikes, we exercised. I took some lovely footage of the birds that were just so happy to be alive and just reminded me and us of how wonderful it is to be on this earth and having a fleeting time here, we need to make most of it. Good morning. Just woken up. It's about 5.45 in the morning at Manilia Bridge Station or Manila Bridge Roadhouse in Western Australia and I just wanted to bring you this incredible beautiful singing of the birds absolutely love it when I wake up and the birds are so excited to be alive and it just makes me even more excited to be alive as well reminding you how precious life is and how thankful we can be that we've been given this opportunity to have this fleeting time on earth so this species is a type of cockatoo, a medium-sized cockatoo. They're white, you get three species and then five subspecies in Western Australia. And they're called the Corella, this species and subspecies. It's a white one with a kind of blue patch of skin around the eye. And then they've got dashes of yellow under their wings. And there's a little bit of pink as well around the eye. And they're absolutely gorgeous. In South Africa, we would only ever, if we were able to, see these in a zoo or somewhere. I don't even think they would have them in a zoo. But here they are in abundance and they are so gorgeous to see. Having fun? <laughs> oh, spin up, spin up! Go roll, tiger! I've only done this just a minute ago. Just time for me to get all the notes right. So we got in the car, drove up to Coral Bay, and for anybody traveling from Perth north up the west coast, absolute must stop is Coral Bay. Unfortunately, due to COVID and our planning being a little bit late, considering COVID, it was not a single spot available in Coral Bay and in fact they told us it was booked out until next year July holidays. That's to sleep overnight. Completely booked out. Not a unit, not a stand, <laughs> not a nothing. nothing. But, but we spend the whole day there. But that's the advantage of having your house on your back almost like a snail. It's we could spend the whole day there and it was just absolutely wonderful so we didn't have to pay to stay but we stayed for the day and it was gorgeous. We even had the most beautiful spot where we could have our lunch because we can make our lunch in the car, sit there with the kids while we're in air conditioning. That's really great. 
and our back window just had a 270 degree of the whole of Coral Bay because you can park in the parking lot right next to the beach with your motorhome. So that was really awesome. Yeah, that was good. And even though it was pretty windy, um, it was very windy in fact, especially as soon as the drone went up, it was very windy. It was not that concerning on, on the beach itself. It was not an issue at all. No, it wasn't. And we were in the water most of the time anyway, and the kids just wanted to have their goggles on and dive in the water. And they saw nice, we didn't see big fishes because we didn't go in we the deep We saw one side. big fish. Oh, that's true. The one that yeah. got away. The one that got away. The, the one that I didn't put the GoPro on record. <laughs> I got it, it all on the water. Ah, I never went. record, never press record. <laughs> no. No. Uh, that happens so often. I can't tell you. you I've done it with the drone once too. Uh, once or twice, you know. <laughs> So it was great. It, we, it, it was a, it was probably about thirty degrees. It wasn't too hot. It was just a beautiful no, it was day. Very nice. And we spent it in the shallow waters. Capri was enjoying it, running around. The kids played with a little crab. I say played. They had the courage to pick up one of these. What do you call them again? The hermit crabs. Yeah. In their little shells, it's very cute. And there were a lot of other people, obviously, but not so much that it felt very crowded. Yeah, so no, the it beach was, was just, not that yeah. crowded at all. Caravan Park was. One of my favorite spots in, in WA is Coral Bay. It's an absolute must visit. Mm, beautiful. Capri! Hi, Papa! Hi, Papa! Say hi, Papa! 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 Hi, Hi, you are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not in the water. It's like in the water. I'm not in the water. Hey! What are we doing? We're playing, buddy. What are you doing? Stefan's Roy Ribok Ram. Roy Ribok Ram. Well done. For now, you have it. Roy Ribok Ram. Ni Lam ni Ram. Lam. Lam ni Ram. Lam. Capri, you're done. Say Roy Ribok Ram. And then we headed off to go to Bulara Station, it's called, yep. Yeah, that was, that was quite a special spot. We got there a little bit late, mm. so I got the last little bit of the sunset. But uh, nice in the bush, and we saw a lot of small little calves as we drove in. Yeah. So that was quite nice for the kids to see. Spend a little bit of time in the morning, just walking around all the old wool shed. Yes, and sheep, they've got the sheep walking around freely. Treated ourselves station. to the very famous scones. <gasps> Yummy. Very good. And the coffee. Good. The coffee was really mint. <laughs> Touch them, of course. Just gentle, always gentle. Stay down. You see, all these wheels are attached to this pole. So when this one turns, this one makes this one turn. I'll show you with this one. It makes this one turn. And then there's a sharp down here, and it makes that one turn. At the end of it, they put a shearer, almost like daddy's razor. And then they can shear the sheep's wool off. 
it and they take the ball to the wall and they throw it on this table. And then they can sort it and they can take off all the pieces of dirt and the seeds and they can clean it up. And if they clean it, they can put it all on piles. So really good good spot to mm. and if you, even if you don't want to stay over I mean if you're on your way to to Exmouth it's only about 5k or so of off the yeah. main road and even if it's just a quick stop having a drink and, and a bite I think it's it's beautiful it's well worth the stop and they have nice evenings where they have uh, like burger nights and things where everybody get together and they have a lovely little bar set up and just communal areas where people get together and oh it's absolutely beautiful yeah, and they've so. got small small bands playing yeah, bands there coming around to do time play time. yeah yeah so good so, spot good and so, we had a good stay we did one. See you later. <laughs> Blanches, unconventional family of six, currently traveling around Australia for the next four months. We're Carl, 44, Chamonix, 41, Monaco, 7, Bordeaux, 5, Everest, 3, and our only little girl, Capri, who is one. We hope you'll keep with us as we bring you 100 sunsets in approximately 100 days while we travel around Australia. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our adventure. adventure. I'm about to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't.